Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm super excited to be presenting Back to the Future, Use New Tech to Drive Pipeline with Face-to-Face -face Events. As many of you may know, this is the first time that Kapow and Cvent have come together to do a webinar. Kapow is an online platform for booking corporate events, and we were acquired by Cvent last year. I'm Carolyn Chapin. I'm Instructor of Marketing here at Kapow. I've been here for about three and a half years, and I've actually been working in event and travel technology for the last 10 years. And as a fellow marketer, I'm super excited about this topic, so I hope you all find it as interesting as I do. As a reminder, you can submit questions through the portal at any time, and we'll address them at the end of the presentation. And you will also be asked to take a survey at the end of the presentation, and if you do that, you will be sent a gift certificate for coffee on us. So everyone, please take the time to give us some feedback. So without further ado, I'll dive into the presentation. So as marketers and event centers, we know that our target customers and prospects are getting bombarded from every direction. They're getting emails, they're getting hit up on social media, they're seeing display ads, they're getting phone calls. There's a lot of noise, and all these tools are really great for us to use to reach them, but there's got to be a better way to cut through the noise. Getting face-to-face -face at live events is that way to cut through the noise. And you're probably thinking, this isn't a new tactic, right? It's been around since the beginning of time, back to the 1920s, back to the 1950s. People have been getting together for hundreds of years to try and connect and sell goods and services. So how can we take this age-old tactic and bring it to the future? So take the trip with me. And if you need more convincing, I've included some of my favorite stats about live events. I always find this one super astounding. A face-to-face -face request is 34 times more successful than an email. Think about that. Getting face-to-face -face with someone in a room is 34 times more likely to get you a yes than sending them an email. And in a global survey of more than 700 business executives, 52% of them said event marketing drives more revenue than any other marketing channel. Only 8% said it drives less. So this is really an area that we obviously need to focus a lot of attention. So we know that events are an important part of our marketing strategy. But events aren't easy. And none of us want to end up looking like Doc Brown, back to the future, completely crazed and so I'm not trying to keep track of all the details. So there are three critical parts of events that I want to focus on today that are going to be essential to your strategy. You have to get the right people to show up. You have to make sure that you're filling the room with the right people and that you're going to get the results that you want by talking to them and getting them actually there. You have to find a cool and compelling venue activity that makes them want to come to your event. Um, you know, you can't pick something that's too far away or that isn't, you know, that's just your run-of-the-mill location. You want something that's going to make them actually want to take time out of their busy schedule to show up. And you have to measure your success so you can do it all again, improve your ROI, and keep track of all those details that are essential to ensuring your event gives you the results that you want. So how do we take this tried-and-true marketing tactic and make it easier to execute in a modern way? You probably guessed the answer is event technology. Event technology gives us the power to really turbocharge our event strategies and get the results that we're looking for. So now let's go through each of these tactics. First, let's talk about driving the right attendance. 68% of marketers say that events are their top tactics for driving qualified top of funnel leads. So if we think about all the tactics we have in our place, and the amount of time and energy we spend on them, we're still finding that events are the number one tactic that we can use to drive qualified top of funnel leads. So in the past, if we wanted to approach this tactic and make sure that we're getting in front of the right people, we may have planned a dinner or lunch at a local restaurant and invited our prospects or customers, just picking an old favorite, nothing too out of the ordinary. We may have stopped by their office to speak in person, whether that was a scheduled meeting or just a drop-in, um, or we may have sent a gift around the holidays just to remind them of who we are. And while there's nothing wrong with any of these tactics, they don't particularly stand out from the crowd. With event technology, there's a lot more options. So you have a CRM that has all the information that you currently have at your fingertips about your clients. You can use that and search a database of events that align with your target's interests. So let's say you're trying to entertain somebody in financial services and you want to do something that's really impressive. You could use a platform like Pow to find things like meet and greet celebrity chefs or a demo from an expert mixologist and quickly and easily book that. Let's say you were entertaining a group that's more in the tech vertical and maybe need something to either get them out of their shelves or something that's a little more outside the box. You could do something like 
axe-throwing or indoor skydiving or um, even helicopter rides. Really, all of these can easily be booked using event technology. You could also overlay your target headquarters or a conference that you know they're attending to select convenient locations for them. So using event technology, you can use maps to figure out, well, where are your target prospects commuting from? What's along their commuter path? And then choose a venue that's convenient for them, which can really, really increase your turnout rate. Um, if you know everyone's attending a conference, you can pick a location that's within walking distance of that conference. And speaking of conferences, if you were planning an event around a conference, you'd really need to stand out from the crowd with a unique experience because you have a lot of competition. And this isn't only the case with conferences, but that's one use case. Um, so doing, using event technology, like the cloud platform, you can find something that's really unique and different. Um, it's going to get people to show up. So maybe doing a, an event in a retail location, inviting everyone there with food and beverage on site and a, a consultation with a, an expert who works at the store, like at a sunglass hut or um, even J. Crew, or Latab, lots of different options there. So one great example of this is a customer retail series we did for a tech company for their field marketing team who came to us. And they knew they wanted to do a nationwide pipeline filling campaign. And they needed to do it in a pretty accelerated timeline. And they wanted to drive attendance, drive engagement, and they knew they had a hard to impress target audience. And using Kapow technology, our marketplace, as well as our partnerships across the country, we were able to put together a customer series that took place at athletic stores all over the nation. So we, part, we partnered with Nike, we partnered with Roadrunner, other athletic stores, and we created a thematic event series for them where everyone who was invited got to come to these stores. They, the client did a presentation for their customers, and everyone got a gift card to spend in the store and a consultation to get customized athletic shoes. There was also food and beverage supplied, and it went off really well. They were really happy with the turnout and got the results that they were looking for, and were able to do this at a very – scalable and accelerated timeline because of the use of partnerships and technology. And the results really spoke for themselves. They got a 9.5 out of 10 on the attendee rating, which is based on surveys that go out after the event takes place. 88% of the attendees said they're more likely to do business with this particular company, which was in an industry where it's very hard to differentiate themselves because the products are very similar. So they really depend on building these relationships with live events. They exceeded their goal. They got 2x their goal with 700 new prospects added to their database, and over $10 million in pipeline was achieved for 170k investment. This was really a successful series all around. 73% of marketers said their number one demand gen priority was lead quality over lead quantity. And in this use case, our customer was able to achieve both. But really focusing on targeting your event and what you're, how you're executing to your target audience can really make sure that you're getting that lead quality over just lead quantity, which might be less qualified. So now let's shift gears and talk about quickly and efficiently sourcing. And anyone who's planned an event knows that sometimes sourcing can be anything but quick and efficient. Um, so it's really great to have strategies that can take hours of time off your plate by making this fast and easy. Only 16% of planners say they are extremely certain of their venue when they begin the sourcing process. And this came from CBEN's own Global Planner Sourcing Report from last year. And this really means that most of us, when we're starting out with planning our events, we don't know where we're going to have them. So we have our work cut out for us. In the past, when we would approach sourcing, we would spend hours searching online. And I know, I mean, you can literally spend hours Googling looking at Yelp, looking at OpenTable, looking at various places where you can get reviews. You would have to place numerous phone calls and emails with multiple venues to really see what's out there and to find out if they have availability, what types of menus they have available, how many people can they accommodate. Um, you know, that all takes a lot of back and forth. And we'd be tracking our progress, potentially in Excel or Post-it notes or over email. All those details that are really important about your event could be in multiple different platforms in multiple different places. So it's really hard to keep track of it all. Today, with event technology, you can save yourself or your team hours and hours of time by using one-stop shop to shop for prepackaged events. That's how we work with our venues and vendors to create prepackaged experiences that include everything from the menu, so food and beverage, the actual physical space, 
whether you need it to be private or semi-private, or if you need AV accommodation, all that is included. There's also usually an experiential element, so whether that's wine tastings with dinner or a hands-on mixology event or a meet and greet with the chef or something more, even more hands-on, um, like a fitting at a retail location or um, everyone getting to toss pizza dough or make their own pasta. All that's included. And it's all been designed for corporate entertaining, so you can have confidence that it's going to work well for your event. You can also shop exclusively on one platform and instantly book. So all the venues that we work with, for the most part, maintain a calendar on the back end so we know when they have availability. You can book in real time, just like you would book anything online. You can check out in a matter of clicks and minutes. So all of that back and forth, making phone calls, doing things over email, the RFP process, that's all eliminated. You can check out very quickly, like you would buy book a hotel or buy, air, buy airplane tickets, pretty much buy anything online. You can do the same thing for your event. Um, you also have centralized payment and planning tools. So no more wrangling on the details in different places, over email and Excel spreadsheets and various other platforms. Everything is contained. You have one merchant record, record, so all of your payments go through one easy channel. And all of your planning tools and contracting is also contained in the same place. So having all the centralized through event technology makes sourcing much, much faster and easier. One of my favorite examples of quickly sourcing was a another tech company that came to us. They needed to do a, a event series that had to take place in 35 different markets, and they only had six weeks to plan it. Um, they knew that this was something that was going to be a really big challenge to get off the ground. Um, but using our technology as well as our national partnerships, we were able to secure 35 different steakhouses across the country, across various different chains, and do it all within their 60-week lead time. Lead time. Um, and we used a lunch and learn approach because they were confident that they'd get better turnout with their target audience using more of a lunchtime plan rather than doing it as a dinner. Um, they thought they would get better attendance and they reached out to Cal with literally only six weeks of lead time and had a pretty lofty goal. So, and the results here were that we were able to source the 35 steak lunches for them in under 30 days using multiple different partners. And not only did all the events have full attendance, but 18 of the 35 even had a full wait list. So they definitely got that turnout that they were looking for. And pretty much everyone who was involved in the event was satisfied. So the sales reps who got increased save time um, and pipeline driven by this event, we're all very happy, needless to say. And using event technology can literally save your team hundreds of hours. If you think about all the time that I mentioned that they would spend searching in Google and making phone calls and pricing things out and arranging menus and runs of show and making sure that you have all of the AV and setup that you need there, that can literally take hundreds of hours. So by using a partner like Kapow, you can really accelerate the event life cycle and reduce the time spent researching venues and save you or your team hundreds of hours of time. Now let's shift gears and talk about tracking details and results. So we've covered how there are lots of moving parts of events, and you need to be able to wrangle all those details so that you'll be able to not only record the amount of time and effort that you put into the event, but actually prove out your results and that the whole thing was worth doing so that you can do it again. Knowing how important this is makes this stat even more crazy. So in a survey of 739 marketers, 55% said that they can't measure ROI in events. So we know this is a big challenge for the majority of us. And then this is even crazier. Another 22% said they don't even know if they can. So this means that over 75% of us don't know the ROI on our events. So in the past, if we were attempting to track all the details of our event or event series, we may have long approval cycles and red tape. So in order to get payments approved um, or to get the right buy-in, make sure that sales is on board or that leadership is on board, it could take a long time to get all those details approved. There might be lots of bureaucracy that you have to deal with. You might have had no ability to track your ROI. If you don't know what you're spending, you can't, turn, you can't in turn track the return that you're getting from that spend. Um, especially if you are at a leadership level and you have multiple people on your team planning events, 
you may not be able to even have a mechanism, mechanism for tracking where they're booking, who they're inviting, how much the spend was, if there was any overages, what the menu is, all of those details. And if you did, it would probably be in a mess of spreadsheets. There'd be data that's missing. You'd have to be tracking it for multiple stakeholders. So you'd be pretty much set up with a mess of data in a lot of different places. With event technology like CVent and Kapow, you are set up for success in a much better way. You can gain visibility into your organization's event program because everything is stored in one platform that gives you that visibility. You can see all of the events that are being planned by any stakeholder within your company, and then you can implement policies. You can make sure that if you need, if somebody's planning recruiting events and they can include alcohol, or if somebody's entertaining some uh, group that's a little more buttoned up, they can't book anything that's too crazy or hands-on. Um, if you want to cap spend for certain areas of the business, you can do that. If everyone's booking on the same platform, the types of policies are easy to keep in place. You can track pre and post event spend and ROI. So you not only know what everyone is spending on their event programs because it's all going through one source of truth in one platform, but you can know all the details of the event program. Um, and you can learn from that, right? So you can see what worked for one part of the business might work for another part of the business. You have all of that stored in one place rather than having to wrangle it from various people's emails and spreadsheets and other places. And then you're able to track your ROI because you know what you spent in the first place and you can track the pipeline that was produced from each of us. One great example of this is an enterprise client in professional services that came to us. We knew they had hundreds of end users booking events. But they didn't know what they were spending, where they were booking. Everything wasn't centralized. And so they came to us because they wanted to gain that visibility into each department's event spend. They wanted to control policies and implementation of those. And they wanted to reduce costs and really maximize the return from their event program. So they adopted a full service event platform technology solution to provide them the ability to implement these event restrictions, put cost guidelines in place, and promote strategic self-service. So these end users can book the events themselves, but they have the oversight of uh, all the approvers that need to be in place. And it doesn't slow down the process, right, because it's all taking place in one platform. It's an easy workflow. So you don't have to deal with uh, those hurdles in place from bureaucracy and red tape. It makes it a lot easier to implement. And the results of this company adapting event technology is that now over 500 of their meetings and small events are sourced through one platform. And we hear from clients all the time that they know that they have people within their company that are booking these types of events, but they have no way to track it. So now this company has 100% of their small meetings and event data tracked in one platform, so they're able to really measure and track all of those details. Over 100 stakeholders are now empowered to self-service, but with that oversight. And they can now book anywhere in the United States on the Kapow platform, making it really easy for them to track that um, and then combine it with their CVent data as well to make sure they're getting that full end-to-end -end event program visibility. So at the beginning of this section, I touched on a stat saying that over 75% of us aren't able to track ROI on our events. But in another survey of 700 marketers, 88% said that they're using event data and KPIs for marketing mix decision making. So if we're not tracking all that information in the first place, how are we supposed to use it to really inform our decision? So making sure that we have all this information captured can really not only strengthen our event programs, but strengthen our entire marketing mix and help us make decisions across the board. So like we said at the outset, you know, events have been around since literally the dawn of time, but marketers don't have to be stuck in the dark ages. We can use event technology to attract our target audience and leave lasting impressions on them and really achieve our goals. We can quickly find, book, and execute events anywhere in the world and do that while saving ourselves and our teams hundreds of hours of time. And we can measure performance and ROI without having to go on a treasure hunt to find all the details in various platforms. Event technology adopters experience multiple benefits. So we kind of touched on this already, but you get the improved ability to track and measure your events. You have improved turnout, improved registration and attendance. You are more productive. You get a better attendee experience and better planning and execution to really achieve your goals and execute on your strategy. So to bring it back to Back to the Future and Marty McFly, we all have a lot of options when it comes to how we want to execute events. But why walk when you can use a hoverboard, right? So use event technology to propel your strategy into the future, to drive more from your events and really achieve your goals. 
You can use event technology to drive more pipeline, get more face time, and really get the ROI that you want to achieve with your events. So thank you all for taking this journey with me back to the future. Um, and now before we part, um, I have some questions that we received that I want to take the time to answer. So the first one is, do I have to have a subscription before I book on Kapow? How do I get started? That's a great question. We get that question all the time. And we actually are not a subscription service. Anybody can go to kapow.com, which actually I recommend you all do, um, and you can search for experiences. Um, you, there are filters or search fields to find what you're looking for. You can search by geolocation, by what type of event you want to host. Um, and it's really easy to get started. So you can create an account. It's really fast. Um, you just need to put in a couple fields of information. Uh, but there's no there's no charge. There's a subscription required to browse and book on Takao.com. OK, next question. Um, are the package events at Kapow on the Kapow website marked up? So this is also a great question. We get this one a lot. Um, so all of the pricing that you will see on package listings on Kapow.com are priced at market value. So this means if you were going to go to the venue and try and do a similar experience, it would be priced the same way. Um, we often, people often want to make you know, small tweaks or changes, want to change the menu or extend the experience by an hour, or let's say it's a cocktail experience and you want to make it a seated dinner. If there's any of those types of changes, there is a planning fee that is applied. But all those changes will be made on your behalf by one of our internal um, account managers or event reps. So, um, yeah, so there's no there's no markup to the pricing that you see on the site. But if you want to customize or build your own experience, there is a planning fee attached to that. Um, okay, we have another question. What does the process look like after I book an event? Does Kapow help or do I work directly with venues? So we actually have internal event planners on staff who take care of all the details. And the way that our platform works is that we have worked with these venues to build experiences. So all of those details have already been figured out. Um, so pretty much if you book with us, you just show up on the day of the event. If you have any questions, there are account managers who will be assigned to you or who are assigned to specific accounts. Um, they can answer any of those questions and make those arrangements for you. But the whole idea and our goal at Kyle is to make it as fast and easy as possible to book these events. So there is no need for you to be um, you know, following up directly with the venue. You pretty much show up on, on the day of the event and all those arrangements have been made for you. Um, Okay, we got another question. Can I make changes to packaged events that I see on the site? And yes, um, I kind of addressed this already, but you can. Uh, if you see uh, experience that has, a little, you know, 75% of the types of things that you want to happen at your event, you can take that and make some small changes to it. Um, or you can, actually, we have a team in-house called our Platinum Team that can build an event completely from scratch for you. So you're definitely able to make those changes, and those are the types of things that would have a small plan to be attached to them. Um, great. Well, I think those are all the questions that we've received. I really appreciate everyone's time, and I did want to touch on. So just a reminder, you'll be getting that short survey, and we hope to get feedback from all of you. And a reminder, if you complete that survey, you do get coffee on up. So definitely recommend that you do that. Um, as a reminder, I'm Carolyn Chapin. I'm Director of Marketing at Kapow, um, which is a part of this event. I'm happy to answer any questions that come up after this. Feel free to connect on LinkedIn, reach out, um, and visit kapow.com and see what we're all about. Thank you all.